Hello everyone, welcome back with me Nathan. The open source AI model Quen has released a new feature that enables people to build web pages and apps for free. And in this video, I will break down this feature and show you how to get started. So just last week, the Quen AI team announced a new free tool called WebDev. WebDev is a tool that you can use for building stunning front-end web pages and apps using simple prompts. This feature turns Quen into a front-end developer so that it can design and build nice landing pages, forms, or all kinds of web templates and then render them. The way it works is very similar to Cloud Artifacts or ChatGPT Canvas. You just need to send a prompt and if you enable thinking mode, it will formulate a plan before executing the request. When the code is finished, Quen will show you the result just beside the chat interface. And what's very exciting is that this web dev feature is fully free to use. It doesn't have any limits, so you can iterate on your design or app as many times as you want without having to wait until the rate limit refreshes. For example, here's a screenshot of Quen where it cloned the interface of Twitter which is better known as X today. It was able to clone the UI components features very closely. As you can see here, there's the three column layout and dark style of X. It even has the X logo on the top left over here. And this is all done without activating the thinking mode as you can see that it's not turned on down here. And here's another example where the AI created a landing page for a sunscreen product. Now you can see at the top here, the prompt was very simple and it specifies nothing at all about the page features. Just a sunscreen product introduction website. And in the output, we can see it has relevant menus at the top, a nice header with black and blue colors, a short description, then two buttons for call to actions. Now the image here seems to be out of place. It looks like an image of a person in a church, but aside from that, the rest seems to be of good quality. So these are the things that Quen Web Dev can do. And next, let's test this feature and see for ourselves if it's really that good. To get started, you just need to go to Quen Chat Web App at chat.quen.ai. I will leave the link to this app in the description below. Once there, you just need to create a free account to use all of Quen Chat features and access your previous conversations. You can register with your Google, GitHub, or just an email address. After the account is created, you can start chatting with Quen. But since we want to test the web dev capabilities, make sure that you click on this web dev button over here. There will be some example prompts that you can choose, or you can just create your own. All right, it's time to test Quen Web Dev and see how good it really is. Now, I'm going to ask the AI to build a Brick Breaker browser game with neon style colors and modern cool animations. Make it fit the window screen. Let's enable the thinking mode here to get the best response. Also, make sure that the Quen 3 235B model is selected in this model selector, since it's the most capable model of the Quen 3 series. So, send the prompt in and Quen will start building the game. Because the thinking mode is turned on, Quen will take a moment to think of a plan on how to complete the request. This process will take a while, so I will skip ahead to when the prompt is completed. Alright, so after about 8 minutes, Quen finally finished the response. You can see the result on the artifact window right here, on the right side. Now, let's try to play this game. Hmm, there is no sound, and it seems the game just stopped once the player misses the ball. There is no game over scene or something like that. It could be an error, so uh, let's refresh by closing the artifact window here, and then click the preview button over here. Okay, I think this generation gets the core game mechanic right, but the rest is very average. All the bricks are in one color, there is no sound effects, no game over screen, and no lives either. For comparison, here's the same game generated by Gemini 2.5 Pro in one of my previous videos. So for me, Quen 3 generation is just very average. I will try once again without the thinking mode. And here's the result given by Quen. This generation is even worse because there is no game start menu and the game is suddenly over as shown here. Let me refresh this, close the artifact, and click the preview button. Hmm... Yeah, it seems the game mechanics is wrong. Uh, when the ball hit the bricks, the game seems to reset, and then suddenly there is a game over scene. It seems Quen is not good in generating games, so let's try a web app next. Okay, let's do another test. 
This time, I will ask Quan to build a node organizer app where users can create nodes and organize their knowledge by certain attributes such as text, date created, or title. Here, I tell the AI what data to save, as well as the nodes format, the organization, search, and sort capabilities, the UI design, the layout, as well as the initial setup. Alright, let's submit the prompt and let Quan do the work. I will skip to the result. And here's the result generated by AI. This only took about one minute to finish. And this one seems good. We can see the UI seems nice here. Let's open this in full screen. I will close the chat window for now. So first, there is the sort drop down over here. We can sort by title or create a date. Then on the top rack, there is the search bar for finding a specific node. Now let's write the tags button. Okay, we can filter nodes by tag. Next, let's create a new node. Here, I will say explore Quen Web Dev, and then some notes, and then insert tags. Save this. Okay, now a new tag added to the text list. Click on a note, and here we can edit the details. Uh, cancel button. Now let's delete a note. Okay, it's working. And let's edit a note, change the title a bit. Alright, it's working as well. I think all the features are implemented correctly, so great job Quen for this one. If you like the response generated by Quen, you can copy or download the code. Uh, let me open the chat window again. Scroll a bit to the top. And you will see this copy or download button right here when Quen generated the code. Overall, I think Quen's web dev is pretty good in doing common developments such as landing pages and web applications but it does fail when asked to do something that needs a spark of creativity, such as building a break breaker game. Also, I don't think the thinking mode is useful at all in web dev mode, so you can just turn it off. For example here, I tried to create the same organizer app but with the thinking mode enabled, and the result is just a blank page, probably because there's an error somewhere in the code. While the token use it doesn't matter because Quen is free, thinking mode takes longer, so it will waste your time while giving a similar result. The tool is definitely useful when you want to prototype any sort of web application in an instant, so you really don't need to pay anything at all to use it. Which is pretty awesome compared to other AI developers like ChatGPT or Claude, which has rate limits and monthly plans. Now if you want to build a complex application, I still suggest you use a proper AI IDE such as Windsurf, Cursor, or Lovable. And now we have come to the end of this video. So, what do you think about the new Quen web dev feature? I encourage you to try it out for yourself as it's completely free and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code with Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify text topics so that you can master them easily. So make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting or useful. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, and all the other good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in other videos. Bye bye.